Hey everyone, it's Joy here, and I am super excited to share the new card kit with you. It's called With All My Art, and I created four cards with this. This is such a super cute card kit. I love all of the brush strokes, the paint strokes, the paint brushes. And so let's get going and I can share what's in this kit. You have the Bold Brush Strokes Layering Stencil. This is a two-piece stencil. Then you have the Splash of Color stamp set and look at all of those fun different brush strokes that you can add to your card and a splatter. Then you have the With All My Art Sentiment Stamp. There's also a coordinating die that's an add-on. Then you have the Paint the Town dies. There's also the insiders with all my art. These will go inside of your cards. So there's two of each of these sentiments, which is absolutely perfect. There's also another add-on. You can get that with all my art envelope seals and their little paint brushes and they're super, super cute. And of course you have your great zipper bag. I'm also using Oreo ink. Lavender Glaze, Cookie Monster, Guava, and Granny Smith. I'm also using some matching cardstocks with those. Some sea salt cardstock, sugar cube cardstock, foam sticky strips, and bitty blender brushes. So I did all of my die cutting off camera. I have die cut the brushes from Oreo cardstock. Then I have the sugar cube cardstock for the bristles. I have the sea salt cardstock for like that little silver band at the top that holds all the bristles in. Then you have your paint that you're going to add to the tips of your paint brushes, and that's in Lavender Glaze, Cookie Monster, Guava, and Granny Smith. I did four of these here, but I did another four off camera. So we have four large ones and four small ones. I'm just using some liquid glue to adhere these together. Super, super simple, but look at how cute these are. And I love that you get two sizes of the paint brushes. So your card designs are absolutely gonna look different and super, super fun. So let's finish adhering these together. Again, you have your black brush as your base. Then you can glue on the white bristles. Your little band is again with that sea salt ink. And this is the Cookie Monster ink. So that first one is Lavender Glaze and my hands in the way so I can't see the other one. Then you have the Granny Smith Guava and Cookie Monster. Okay, let's start with one of our backgrounds. I, like I said, I made four cards. This is gonna be a really simple one. I like that there's a lot of white space on this. I'm using three colors of ink, but I will bring in the fourth color because all of these cards have the same color combination. So right now I'm lining up in my Misty. I need to take out my foam piece because I am using the red rubber stamps. I'm lining up the three brush strokes. These are from the Splash of Color stamp set. Once I kind of have them lined up and see that it looks okay, I'm gonna remove the other two because I wanna be able to stamp them as close as I need to. So this first one is being stamped with Lavender Glaze and I'm inking that up twice to get a good impression. Then I can add my next brush stroke and I'm using Cookie Monster ink for this one. Isn't that so pretty? I think that's my favorite brush stroke, which is probably why I used kind of a teal color to uh, with that brush stroke. Then the final one is the Granny Smith. It's kind of a fun green. Then I'm gonna put this aside and we can work on the next background. So you have in that With All My Art stamp set, or excuse me, with a splash of color stamp set, this little um, splatter. I'm gonna do second generation stamping. So I'm moving these all over my whole background. I'm not gonna show you the whole background because you'll see it when it's finished. I'm inking that up, stamping it one time on a scratch piece of paper, and then stamping it the second time on my card panel. I'm doing this because I want these colors to be a lot lighter and softer. So, it's super simple. Again, ink it up, stamp it off onto a scratch piece of cardstock, and then stamp it onto your card panel or whatever you're stamping it on. And then I'm just moving this all over the whole background and I can get the, that whole background nice and stamped up. And look at how cute that is. Okay, now we're on to the stencil. Remember, this is a two piece stencil. I am only going to use this one here. I'm lining up 
my paint brushes and I'm going to tape off. I don't need to ink blend on the left side of the tape. I only need to ink blend on the right side. I am using Granny Smith Guava and Cookie Monster. And I want to see the end of the stroke on this so I'm not going off of my paper on the right side. And you'll see what I mean when I lift the stencil. But this is super simple. The, uh, the second stencil will have brush strokes that fit in the middle of this, but that's where I want to put my sentiment. So that's why I did not use the second stencil. So that one was super easy to do. Let's peel that back. I know it looks funny now, but it'll look really good when we're done. Let's do the sentiments in between. These sentiments are from the With All My Art stamp set. And it's gonna say, hey crafty friend, you inspire me. And I'm stamping it with the lavender glaze. That way I can have all four colors on this card. So all of the cards will have all four colors. I just might do it in different ways. So once that's all inked up, I can work on the next background. This is the splash of color stamp set. You can see all of those brush strokes. I'm gonna line these up on a diagonal and we're gonna have fun with some inking. I want to ink up in a color order. So I'm doing Guava, Lavender Glaze, Cookie Monster, then Granny Smith. Once I ink it, once I add the ink, I am taking a Bitty Blender brush just to kind of um, loosen up the end of the ink so it's not a straight line. So I want to soften it by tapping it with a blender brush and kind of blending it out on the stamp set itself. And then I can come in with my last color, which is the Granny Smith, blend that or soften the edges. And then I can press that down on the background and we're gonna have these fun multicolored strips. I have one more I need to do to finish this whole row and then I'm gonna add some more and I will speed that up quite a bit to fill in the open areas. So let's blend that again with that Bitty brush now we're doing it again. I'm still doing the same colors and in the same order, but now I'm just filling in the stamps where the, there's all of that open white space. So let's add that ink, blend it. That's the Cookie Monster. And then I'm fi finishing with the Granny Smith. I'm gonna finish with this last one here. And look at how fun that is. I just think it turned out so, so cute. And I will trim that down quite a bit smaller. I need to stamp my sentiment that says you're, let's see what it says, you're a work of art. Then this sentiment says you are one of a kind. I'm stamping that over our little brush strokes. This one's gonna say wishing you a colorful day, which I think is so cute. And now we can start putting these together. So I've already had these trimmed down as, as small as I need the card panels. Some of them are full size. Some of them are trimmed down a little bit smaller than an A2 size. I have foam sticky strips behind all of my paint brushes. I think that card is one of my favorites. I think it's so fun. And then I can just peel off the release paper and pop those in place. Now this card here, I'm adding the guava cardstock because I did not use guava ink on the front. So like I said, I have all four colors on all of my cards. That one is just adhered directly to a white card base. This one will have a black Oreo cardstock mat and then onto a white card base. And then this one's just a full A2 sized. Let's pop in those sentiments. I just looked through the sentiments and matched what would make sense on the outside sentiment to the inside sentiment. And then we can take a look at these here in just a second. But isn't that cute? I love these paintbrushes and those stamp sets are amazing. Isn't that a cute one? I love all those little tiny paintbrushes. Then we have all of the paint strokes on the background. And then we have this really simple card that doesn't have any paintbrushes, but really is super sweet. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.